guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. I am very excited about today's video because I'm partnering up with Elmer's. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So when Elmer's reached out and asked if I would like to take their what if slime challenge, of course, you guys know that I had to say yes because I love doing challenges, especially slime challenges. So today I should be receiving my mystery slime box and I'm super excited to see what my challenge is because it is going to be something that I've never done before and I am so excited to see how it turns out. So yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys once the box arrives. Okay guys, the doorbell just rang and I have a feeling that it's my mystery slime box from Elmer's. So let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, is this the box? Guys, this is so small and so cute. I'm really excited to see what's inside, so let's take this upstairs. Alrighty guys, I just got my mystery sign box and this is probably the tiniest package I've ever received. I'm so excited to see what the challenge is, but I just feel like my room is a bit too big to unbox such a small box. So why don't we downsize things a bit? Welcome to my mini room. This was sent to me by Elmer's and it is an exact replica of my real room. And to show you guys how small it is, I'm gonna zoom out the camera so you can get a look. So this is my actual room that you guys always see in the background of my videos. And you can also see how tiny my mini room is in comparison. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back in and give you guys a quick tour. You guys can see here how cute and tiny this room is. It pretty much has everything that I have in my actual real room. So we have the Kawaii Mason jars, uh, the same books, we have the cactus light. And then you can see that there's Oliver and Oscar. This was a DIY that I made a really long time ago. And lastly, we have the teddy bear that you guys always see in the background. Now I can safely say that I have an appropriate sized room to open such a small box. So let's see what's inside. <laughs> the text inside is so small, I am gonna need a magnifying glass for this. So it says, what if you made slime of microscopic proportions? This box is already so cool. I am going to take out the card that's inside. And again, the text is so small. This is like really, really small. So let's read what it says. Break out your magnifying glass because you're about to make micro slime. Using the ingredients in this box, your challenge is to make the miniest batch of slime ever. The smaller the slime, the bigger the fun. Elmer's has challenged me to make the smallest slime ever and challenge accepted. So let's just really quickly see what's inside the box. The first thing we have here is this N, which stands for Nim. It's so cute. And by the way, I just want to say that I'm probably going to use the word cute a lot in this video. So please bear with me because miniature things make me so happy, as you guys know. And then we have three mini bottles of glue, which are so adorable. So we have white glue, and then we have a pink and teal metallic glue. So I'm just gonna place those on top of my mini desk. Now that I know what my challenge is, I can finally start making some slime. So here I have my mini table and my mini bowl. And the first slime I'm going to be making is a pink metallic slime. So I'm going to pour in a really small amount of glue into the bowl. To activate my slime, I'm going to take out my tiny little spoon and literally I'm going to add a drop of the magical liquid. Now I'm just mixing that together. So you can see here my mini slime is activated and you can see that it's super stretchy as well. Why don't we add some glitter into the slime? So I have like this little spoon and I'm gonna add the smallest amount of glitter because this is super small. <laughs> If you guys think about it, it's so crazy that I'm making mini slime in my mini room 
but like I'm actually inside my real room. I think this glitter looks really pretty in the slime and now I'm gonna try to like play around with this slime a bit so I am pressing it using the spatula and now I'm going to poke it using this mini fork. The slime is pretty much completed. I'm now going to pop it into this slime container. I have my mini slime here on my mini desk. It's so small and so cute. So I just want to show you guys how the slime looks in my actual room next to a four ounce slime container. So you can really see how tiny this slime is. Now this slime is pretty small as you can see, but I want to take it a step further and make the smallest slime I possibly can using the help of a microscope. I am going to be making the smallest slime ever, like basically the smallest slime I possibly can. And to do that, I'm going to be using a microscope so that you guys can get a better look at what I'm doing and how the slime looks. I have my bowl underneath the microscope and I'm going to add the smallest amount of glue. Under the microscope, it does look like I added a good amount of glue, I would say, but like in reality, it is really small. So the next thing I'm going to do is activate the slime by adding a teeny tiny drop of the magical liquid. I'm going to mix this together using my mini spoon. This is the microscopic slime and I'm going to use two toothpicks to uh, stretch them because I definitely cannot use my fingers. Now I'm going to play with the slime using the same mini fork that I was using earlier. If you look at the microscope screen, it doesn't look that small, which is crazy. So I think it would be best to show you guys like a real life comparison. So here I have a penny next to the microscopic slime. And here you can really tell how small it is. This is like tiny. So now I'm going to go ahead and make a few other slimes under the microscope with different add-ins and then we're going to mix the slimes together to basically make the smallest slime smoothie ever. I'm going to be making the slime just like I did with the previous one, but this time I'm using a different color. I'm going to be using the yellow color changing glue from Elmer's. In this slime, I'm going to be adding glitter, and this is like the super fine glitter. It isn't chunky at all, but under the microscope, you can like see each individual like flake, and it looks big, especially when I zoom it in. I'm gonna add the tiniest amount of glitter, and I did change up the angle a bit so you can really see how tiny the slime really is. I'm going to take my mini fork and mix in the glitter. I'm playing with this microscopic slime like I normally would, like I'm stretching it, I'm poking it, but I think it would be really fun to see if I could make bubbles using this slime. This is like a really small amount of slime, so I don't really have that many expectations, but we're gonna try. 
please excuse my hair that's in the frame but i'm using this very thin straw and i managed to make some really amazing bubbles especially this last one it's so big and under the microscope it just looks so cool Next, I decided it would be really fun to make a slime with microfoam beads. So I am using this purple glitter glue and I'm gonna be making it the same exact way like I did with the previous two. These are the microphone beads that I'm going to be adding into the slime and you can also have a look at what it looks under the microscope. So they seem like kind of big, but in reality they're like super tiny. I'm gonna pop those into the slime and mix them in. Here is the microscopic slime all completed. I quickly want to show you guys these microscopic slimes. So we have them next to a penny. So first we have the blue slime, then the glitter slime, and finally the microfoam bead slime. It is slightly bigger because I've added in the beads, but it's still pretty small. And you can also see uh, on the left the mini slime that I just made earlier in my mini room. So you can see how tiny the microscopic slimes are in comparison to the penny and mini slime. I'm now going to mix all three of the microscopic slimes together to make the world's smallest slime smoothie. I could not use my fingers to like put the slimes in the bowl because like I kept losing the slimes which is so funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna pop those in using some tweezers and then I'm gonna mix them. This is officially the smallest slime I've ever made and the smallest slime smoothie. And that is it for today's video. Elmer challenged me to make the smallest slime I possibly could and I would say challenge completed. I had so much fun filming this challenge and you guys know that I love miniature slimes so just making a mini slime under a microscope was like the coolest thing ever. If you guys would like to see more challenges like this, let me know your what if slime challenge ideas on my most recent Instagram post and you guys can get as creative as you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and follow the hashtag Elmer's what if for more mystery slime unboxings. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.